El St. Charles mask. And uh, do you mind telling us your age? 94. And where were you born? Hectanula. My father fished uh, off of the coast of Yarmouth. This is before I was born, so mm. it's a long time ago. <laughs> it was <laughs> yesterday. Uh, my sister tells the story of uh, spending the summer camping, she called it, mm. down by the waterfront in Yarmouth. Now that entails a lot of territory. Mm. Um, they had a canoe, and my father and his friend, Abe Tony, his name was Abe Tony. They'd get in the canoe and go out uh, porpoise hunting. Mm. And they would be gone most of the day. My sister would play around and along in the afternoon sometime. My mother would tell her to go down by the shore and watch for the canoe to come back and to come and to let her mother know that they were on their mm -hmm. way home. I imagine so she could prepare mm -hmm. supper for them. And my sister says that they always had a porpoise, hmm. sometimes two. Hmm. Well, they waited until the next morning and they built a bonfire. They had these huge big pots over the fire. And they would cut the porpoise up and boil the oil out of it. Mm -hmm. Put them in, put the oil into uh, jars or whatever kind of container they might have available to them. They took it to the store. As far as she knew, it must have been a hardware store. What did they do with the oil? They used it for uh, harness making. Mm -hmm. They keep the harness pliable. And she thought maybe they might have used it for uh, lamps mm -hmm. or a lantern. Now, my sister was born in 1905, so this all would be, I would think, before 1910 hmm. that this happened. 